Guys, we are halfway there now, starting this video. But welcome to Exciting Efforts, where my wife went to the hardware store to pick up paint and bought a, well, she bought a $700 microwave that was on sale for like set, like 500 and then there's a, it's Menard, so there's 11% off rebate. And after the rebate, what was it, like a under four even with tax, right? So after tax, I paid, and then I get a rebate. So after tax and the rebate, I'm gonna be at like three fifty. That's fantastic. That's fifty percent off. And we had, I have a picture. I'm sure I, that's the sink. I had a picture of what was here. It was just the most generic thing. And we got a stainless steel dishwasher when we were buying a dishwasher. We have a stainless steel microwave that is now being replaced. And this is the stove that came with the house when we bought it. So we're replacing that eventually, but the plan wasn't to replace the range hood right away. But uh, when she found a, essentially 50% off, let's do it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, installing the dumb thing. First of all, the breaker's off. So taking it out of the box, there's a giant whammo on the side of it. And we collectively decided that we don't care. I mean, I feel like we should care, right? But it's gonna be hidden. I mean, we should. But, but it doesn't look like, it's just cosmetic damage and it's gonna be hidden and it's putting up with it's better than taking the stupid thing yeah, back. Yeah, we have to put it back in the box and take it back to the hardware store to get a different one and I'm just, I don't care. Okay, so that's hurdle one. Okay, so uh, they had this direct wired and then there's a receptacle box. The new microwave is not direct wire. So I'm gonna run this back into the receptacle box and I'm not gonna show you that because I don't want you taking electrical tips from me. So that I'm just gonna do that and then you guys can uh, be in awe. I know enough to know a couple of things. A, how to put a receptacle in and B, you don't show strangers on the internet you doing electricity because even professional electricians who've been at it for years get corrected by people on the internet. So we're just gonna go wire a receptacle. Okay, there it is. And you know that process that you use, that's exactly what I did. That's how I did it, is exactly how you would have done it. So thanks for the tip. If you need to know how to wire in, there's tons of, of videos on that on the internet. So go check them out. I'm never alone in my uh, efforts to improve our house while I'm installing this. She's painting a cabinet green. <laughs> yes, I'm painting oak cabinets. Get over it. <laughs> they're cheap cabinets. They're cheap oak cabinets and they're, they're from the... oak cabinets and I like to paint them. So I'm painting them. I don't care what the internet trolls say. That is venting out the wall. Technically, it is venting up from the position that the... Uh, and so they would call this a roof vent installation. And this is my Walmart brand shortening. So next you take this plate and you stick it up there. And then these cleats hold it up there while you put the microwave in. And you gotta drill some holes down through to catch the microwave. In these holes with these screws. I mean, there's more to it than just that because it's got these giant washers. Again, this is me showing you what I'm doing, not telling you how to do it. This template thing is worthless. It, the, that's the where the template lines up for the hole. And then you're supposed to cut this piece out so that it's not in the way of the vent and it doesn't serve any purpose at all. That's how well their template lines up. That's where it sits. So now, oh, that's not, that's not in there, right? That goes there. And I need to drill this hole out straight up through there. So without the template, I took the template and I drew holes through, drew with a pencil through that hole so that I could know where to drill this hole Right here. Oh, there's a like, there's a veneer inside there. He 
think most families would have like hired someone to paint it or bought green cabinets? You know, probably most people in this situation would have uh, hired somebody to paint it if they weren't going to do it themselves. Oh, but we're a do-it-yourself family. There we go. So now, drop these washers with the or these nuts with these big washer plates down through that hole on both sides. We're gonna so leave that get up here on the ladder with the drill. And we're going to so look. And Leva, Judah and I are going to raise the, the thing up. We're going to put the screw into the hole. And we're going to tell you when it's in the right spot. And you're going to run the drill on there and tighten it up, okay? Is this in the right setting? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm going to make sure. You ready, Jay? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, it's. We got to go together. My screw still isn't in the right spot. Can you pull that cord through more for me? Is that your way? It's not going to go to the right spot? Yeah, it's not. Oh. My screw is like bent. Go. Stop. Stop. Like what? Move. Can you back that up, Levi? Oh, hold on, two setting. Is that in the hole? I can't see it. Yeah, that is going in the hole. Okay, well then run it down, tight as you can get it. It's mounted. Okay, tight as you can get. You might not have the body weight okay. to push it down anymore. No, it was, this thing is going down. Okay, nope, that's perfect. Plug it in. Whoops! Right? Or go by, yeah, there you go. Go behind the pipe if you can. Plug it in. But it's properly installed. We yeah. didn't end up using the template because it wasn't wasn't right enough. So this is actually a pretty fancy deal. You push this and the door opens, and then there's your like control buttons, and uh, and it vents to the outside. Now we need to get a good stove. I didn't mention the refrigerator is also stainless. So now we just need to replace the stove with a good newer stainless. Probably electric stove. What do you think? What do you Why think? electric stove? And so far so good on the cabinet painting. And this is what came of the box. It's a boat. Row the boat again, Hesher. Here are the cabinets with the doors pulled off. Looking pretty good before, after. What does she think? She likes it. She's mad. I yeah. wish I would have done this, like, what, we bought this house almost two years ago now? <laughs> yeah. I wish I would have done this two years well, ago. We talked about it before we ever moved in. But, well, we didn't take video then, but the carpet. <sighs> so, story time. So when we moved in, the carpet, like, it smelled really gross. And um, 
we oh, threw yeah. our boxes down and like put a bunch of air fresheners out and we we're like it's fine it's fine it's fine we get to the last box probably a week after we moved in we got to this last box and then we we're like when we're done unpacking we're gonna start the kitchen that was the goal and um what ended up happening was like the last box we picked it up and like the books that were in the box fell out because it was soggy it had soaked up animal urine from the carpet and we pulled out the carpet right away yeah, we <laughs> started was, tearing the carpet up as soon as the box was gone as soon as the box was gone we started tearing out the carpet and mm -hmm. so we had to replace the carpet when we first moved in which was not a project that we were budgeted for <laughs> so our kitchen right on budget went to that and then school started and i'm a teacher and the kids in school and i'm really excited about this microwave yeah. i didn't even know a microwave like that existed yeah it's that narrow super narrow cool looking like it, it's, the, it's the same the size of my hand it's like the exterior dimensions are like 11 inches by 30 Whoa. inches and then 18 deep so can see and also does something weird because yeah, it's clean and then we'll just remember it's never going to be that clean again guys okay what you doing painting cool and it, I think this is like a multi-coat paint. I don't know. We'll figure that part out. Mom's over there girl bossing. Okay, so the end of night one. And uh, all the uppers are basically done. We're going to add hardware and close them. But, you know, close painted cabinets while... I mean, they're not wet, but they're not cured. Um... And I'm just realizing this would be day 13, except I skipped working out to put in a microwave. So that's the end of today. So today is day two of working in the kitchen. Uh, but we're not starting there because there's other stuff going on. So uh, this is what Jude is doing today. We got this old barn out here. And this won't make the channel. Maybe I'll do a couple before and afters. Is, but uh, not going to ask my father-in-law to be a youtube star uh, and he's doing this with judah as a project just to work together and be cool there's a strap cat there's 20 foot right there another one right there another one right there another one right there this is an empty hall and so we're gonna just fill it in mm-hmm Okay, we're getting there. We're making some progress. Somebody cleaned up the mess I made on the stove yesterday. But the, that also, that was that Caleb. You did a good job. The walls are gray not and not bad. pink. So, so oh, yeah. in this part. So, changes are happening. It's fun. Hi. Hi. And so they are wrapping up those pallets just sitting on a piece of treated wood and then tied into that last rafter just enough to uh close it in from the coyotes and the deer and the, the neighbors having to look all the way through the barn because it's a giant hole let's go take a look at the kitchen um so the kids were working really hard in here and they got almost all of the gray done up there they didn't do the this part yet of the soffit oh like the underside yeah, of the soffit you because... can't even really see that on well, and then Here. mom needs to do the cut in for the cabinets. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then, then we're working on like getting good second coats on the bottom cabinets so that then, and I'll probably do what we did last night, which last night, like after the kids went to bed, we did like a really good second coat or final coat on the cabinets and let it like dry overnight when nobody was in here bumping and touching. So I think we'll do that again on the lowers tonight and then tomorrow we'll put on cabinet poles. Oh, what did we get from Amazon today? Yeah! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to conclude part two of the video. We're still short a few handles. They're coming probably tomorrow or the next day from Amazon, but cool project, fun. I'll put up some footage of me standing right here doing this from before. Halfway there now, starting this video. But welcome to Exciting Efforts, where my wife went to the hardware store to pick up paint when there was no range hood there. And it, fun times, we are replacing that light fixture too. Those light fixtures were all in this house. Uh, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. 
following, clicking the bell, look at my links in the description and you can see my other channels and the stuff that we do on eBay and whatnot and, and whatnot. <laughs> Mercari, uh, yeah. Exciting efforts, making our life better. Thanks for watching guys.